Now to O.J. Simpson taking the stand for five hours on Wednesday, trying to convince a judge he was wrongly convicted back in 2008. It was dramatic testimony, and ABC's Neil Karlinski has the latest for us. Good morning, Neil. Good morning, Robin. O.J. Simpson looked at times like he was having fun on the witness stand. He was loose and relaxed and looking forward to a, a long day of testimony. Watching O.J. Simpson take the stand, one hand left free, the other shackled, it's hard to imagine this aging inmate is the same man who was once the symbol of a nation's racial divide. Would you please tell the court how old you are today? Uh, 65. Given the chance yes, to tell I his side of things, Simpson here. didn't disappoint and he uh, didn't hold back, even joking <laughs> about drinking too much the afternoon before the botched and bizarre robbery that put him behind bars. I had a joke that my doctor says I should never have a, an empty glass is what I would tell the waitress, <laughs> you know, so... Uh, we were celebrating. Simpson wound up convicted of robbery and kidnapping in 2008 after he tried to get back his own mementos from a pair of sports memorabilia dealers. These are things I hadn't seen in 10 years, and I, I was a little emotional about it. His argument that his lawyer at the time, Yale Galanter, did a terrible job defending him and even gave him the green light to try to get back his belongings. I followed what I thought the law. I didn't break into anybody's room. The guys acknowledged it was my stuff. Simpson's old charm was back on display. The murders on everyone's minds for so long were never brought up. Longtime Simpson observer Mark Garrigo says Simpson's charisma isn't the key because there's no jury this time, just a judge to impress. The judge is not going to care a whole lot whether he's joking or smiling. She's going to care about his demeanor when he's testifying. Did you ever ask Clinton or Alexander to bring any weapons? No, not at all. Never came up. No. Another main point, Simpson says he was never told of the early discussions of a plea deal between his lawyer and prosecutors, a deal that could have meant a lot less prison time. Do you recall any uh, plea offer being given to you during the trial? No. Simpson's new lawyers say they are confident that this time he actually helped himself. It was his story that he finally got to tell, and he, I think he did really, really well. The, hear, the hearing will have a short day today, then wrap up Friday with testimony from Yale Galanter, the attorney that O.J. Simpson blames for all of his troubles. He will likely have a very different take on the events. Robin? Many can't wait to hear what he has to say. And yes, there's no jury, but the public is watching, and many feel that he's still charismatic. But was it credible what he was saying? Did it come across as credible to you? Court observers, myself included, believe that he was very credible. It came across as sort of a knuckle-headed scheme. He, he seemed to not know what he was getting himself into. Claims he had legal advice from Yale Galanter, who will take the stand, they say, tomorrow. He will hear what he has to say, his side of the story. Neil, thank you very much.